Once in a while Will you try to give one little thought to me Though someone else may be near your heart Hi everyone and welcome to Bombshells and Cocktails. Happy New Year! I hope you've all had a fabulous um, end to your 2013 and a fabulous 2013 and here's to 2014. I've had a little bit of time away from my YouTube channel and the reason for that if you've been watching any of my most recent videos, <laughs> even though they weren't that recent, um, you'll probably know is because I've moved house. In fact I bought a house um, which was quite a, a big deal. The things that I needed to do to the house were quite dramatic. Um, so I've actually had to spend a lot of time and energy into that. Um, but on the positive side, having a break from my channel from a little, for a little while has made me think about what I want to do with the channel, um, for 2014 especially. So I've gone through about 10,000 different ideas and I finally come up with the one that I really want to do. And that is the A to Z of Hollywood starlets. Um, or silver screen goddesses, or I, don't, I haven't kind of thought of the name yet, that will come I'm sure, or if you have an idea please let me know and post it down below. But um, that's kind of the plan, so I'm going to work my way through, um, any of you who follow me on Instagram you'll see the montage of pictures that I've put up and some of you have guessed what it is that I was going to do anyway. Um, anyway, I hope that that kind of works and that you enjoy it. And today is the first letter of the alphabet, which is A, and hopefully you'll be able to guess who I'm supposed to be by the hair, obviously, but the iconic dress. Well, I kind of made it from a dress I had and a bit of a scarf, but <laughs> you get the idea. The look today is the absolutely beautiful Ava Gardner. Um, I've actually done this with a foam roller set. I'll be honest with you, foam rollers are not my favourite thing in the world. They haven't really worked for me in the past. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is. I have wondered if it's because my hair's a bit thicker. But I thought, well, it's a new year, I'll give them a go again, which I have done. And I used a different sort of um, way to set my hair as well this time with a different setting solution. I'm trying to get away from setting lotions. So I've used Aveda Conflixa Gel which I've mixed um, about, probably about a quarter gel to three quarters water and use that to dampen down my hair and as a setting agent rather than as um, actual setting lotion. So it's turned out quite well. I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. I probably will use foam rollers again. Still not my favorite though, sorry. Um, but hopefully you guys will get something out of this tutorial and just trying to tuck the long bit away. My hair's got really long, I need to cut it. But um, I'm quite pleased with how the foam rollers work for this particular look. So um, I'll stop warbling, here's the tutorial, enjoy it and happy new year. So um, just so you know how I've set the hair, um, as usual I've done a deep side part and I've just kind of rolled everything down on this side of the part which is the smaller side. Um, on the other side of the part, because I've got a fringe here, I've kind of just rolled as much of that as I can um, down, but almost angled slightly away to really try and make the, the fringe go that way. Now in terms of this one, I've rolled this one up simply because looking at the photo, that part was quite flat. Um, on Ava's hair, whereas the front is where all the kind of the wave and the interest is. So I figured that by rolling this one up, it will smooth out the top bit, but also help add in the wave around this section of the hair. The rest of them, I have rolled all of them, I think, just checking, yeah, I've rolled all of them down. At the back, I ran out of foam rollers, so I've just pink curled back. Hopefully you could see that. So I just used elevated pink curls for all the back of my hair. So I'll take all this out and I'll be so back. 
mass of girls as usual. Um, it seems to have taken quite well, so I'll just go ahead with the brush out. Near your heart So once in a while Will you dream of the moments I share with you Moments before we turn Now, the thing about Ava Gardner's hair is that it was quite casual so it's really important not to overwork it so I'm probably going to shape it a little but try and keep some of that that naturalness to the wave I'm also using the technique which you'll see in most pink curl guides which is to take your brush and to brush really flat not to try and brush it out just to really try and get that wave in and when I do that what you'll see is that the wave really does start to form in the hair So, I mean, the thing about the foam rollers is that the wave is a lot bigger because of, I suppose, the size of foam roller I used. If I used smaller ones, then the wave wouldn't be as big. But it's not actually turning out as badly as my foam roller sets have done in the past, so I'm quite happy about that. created a bit more of a wave but unfortunately with a foam roller set I, I seem to be very down on foam roller sets so I'm sorry um, but with a foam roller set just depending again on the size of foam rollers you're not going to get as good a wave as you would with a pink curl set but still for this look actually I'm quite happy with how it's turned out um, I'm not going to manipulate it anymore actually because I think that is pretty much there so I'll go put the makeup on, put the dress on, and the transformation will hopefully be complete. Mm. Do I think I look like Ava Gardner? Not so much, but we can always try, that's the whole point. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit with some photos. 